Hi. Every time I give a payroll training class for Microsoft Dynamics GP, I'm asked about audit trails. People want to know what changes were made to employee records, when they were made, and who made them. Now, that's not inherently part of the system, but there is a SQL utility that you can get from your partner that will allow you to do just that. And if you run the SQL utility, now don't get scared, the beginning part's a little bit technical, so you could either get your IT person to do it or your partner if you're not uh, SQL Server friendly. So we're in SQL Server now, we're in the SQL Server uh, Management Studio, and the download itself is actually a SQL script. So this is the SQL script, and when you run this script, it's going to create a table in your database, so you're going to want to execute it against your company databases, or database, and any database that you run payroll for. And what this will do is it will track then, or create a trigger, that every time there's changes to any of the employer ma employee master files, or any of these tables listed right here, it will track those changes. So that's the employee, that's the pay codes, that's the employee pay codes, employee deductions, states, employee summaries, uh, d direct deposits, there's, a, there's quite a few of them. So to execute the SQL script, you just click on execute and wait for the command completed successfully. So now you have a table out there and you now also have a trigger out there. So every time there's a change to the table, it will write to that table, a change to one of the tables, it will write to this new table called track payroll changes. So let's do that now. Um, actually, before we do that, in SQL, here is the table and I'm just gonna run a script and we can see there are no records in it right now. I just wanted you to see that happen. So let's go into Gray Plains, and what we're going to do under Cards is first let's change an employee. So let's go through, and let's change where Aiden Delaney lives. Right now we have him on 101 First Street, and let's change this to, uh, let's say he moved to 689 Fig Street. And we'll click on Save and close that out. So now we've changed Dana's address. So also under Cards, let's go into Pay Codes and let's pull up Brenda Diaz and pull up Brenda's Pay. And Brenda earns $17.10 an hour. Let's say she got a raise. She is now going to earn $17.75. We'll click on Save, and it's going to prompt us, do we want to roll down the changes to all other pay codes based on this one? And I'm going to say yes. And I will say that this was part of an annual raise. And we'll close that window out. Let's also go into Deductions, and let's pull up uh, Adam Barr. And we'll pull up Adam's medical flex deduction. Right now he's taking out $5. Let's change it to $4 and we'll save that and close that out. I'm just not going to deal with the HR pieces right now. And we could do the same with benefit if we wanted to as well. That will track that information as well. We'll do Kathy Flood, her insurance benefit, um, her insurance premium, let's say that went up to $51.12. So now we've made quite a few changes to employee records. So if we were to go back into SQL and look at, a run a select statement against that, we're going to see all kinds of changes to the system. First we see user ID, and that's the user logged in, and I was logged in as SA. We see the table that was changed, the SQL table, the database table, we see what kind of change it was. So we can see address line one change, payroll amount change, deduction amount, and so forth. We can see the date and time it changed. Now if we flip back into Great Plains for a minute, let me pull up one of these. Um, you could see in, in the FabriCamp database it's dated April 12th, 2017. But if we go back to SQL, you could see it's using my system date. This is the date the computer knows it to be. And you'll notice it also timestamps it so you can see which change was made last and so forth. We see the old value. So we see, for example, Aiden moved from 101 First Street to 689 Fig Street. 
we see the employee ID with a change and then a comment on the change. So that was address one changed for employee um, Aiden Delaney for address code primary. So we get a little more information. Now, how can you use this without accessing SQL to be able to look things up? You could simply use Excel. So here's Excel 2013 and I'm going to go into data and I'm going to create my own Excel refreshable report in other words. I'll go from other data source. I'll create a connection wizard. Choose SQL Server. Enter the name of my server and again if you're not comfortable setting this up the first time you can get someone from IT or your partner to help you. Now in the SQL database you will need to make sure that you have rights granted appropriately. So I'm logged in as SA so I'll have access to everything but uh, you want to make sure you have the right set up. So we'll click on next, select the right company. That was my two database. Now find the table and it is indeed a table, not a view that we're looking for. And the name of the table is track, starts with track, track payroll, come on, where are the T's? There we are, track payroll changes and I'll click on finish. Now I'd already created an ODC connection but uh, so it's giving me this message but I wanted to walk you through the steps. And I do recommend that you set this up as a table because you'll want to be able to see every single column when you look at something. So now we have all the changes here. If I want to look at changes for just Aiden, I can come in here and select just Aiden's pay record and now I can see the changes for Aiden alone. If I'm interested, let me select all again, in just payroll rate changes, I can come into the one called column name and just select for payroll amount, when the payroll amount changes. Now one thing I do want to show you here is I only changed the hourly code but remember it asked me do I want to change all codes that are based on hourly and I said yes and when I did that it then updated those as well so even though I didn't go through the process of opening up those individual pay codes and making those changes it did change them so it does list it here as well. Now this is a refreshable report that I could use over and over again. Uh, keep in mind you could do some date things so you could narrow down just which date you want to look for and so forth. Um, so you could utilize Excel pivot reports here too if you wanted to be able to access information for just a certain timeline. Um, a great um, that, that's a great way to do it. You could also insert a slicer if you wanted to and put the slicer for the date change and then narrow down just things that were changed for a certain date and time. Don't really recommend that but you could do that if you wanted to. So a lot of cool things that you can do with this and as always I hope this helps.